what is up youtube welcome and welcome back to my channel i'm back with another video once again in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys how to do this yellow lip balm with sparkling yellow glitter so let's just get straight into this video so we're gonna start off by cleaning our table for sanitary purposes keeping everything clean and you obviously are going to be needing your gloves way before everything you do not want to touch anything without your gloves and you want to wash your hands and i use these lyso wipes you know the cleans and get rid of bacteria and i'm going to be using this paper instead of paper towels i don't have any so please don't mind but you want to have you want to keep something under your styrofoam or plastic um, bowl and i'm gonna be using this protelium vaseline and this lip balm base for the lip balm so the lip balm base i bought it and i didn't know it was gonna be that small so i have to keep on using vaseline so i buy the big bottle and now we're gonna be using coconut and we're gonna be needing um, this yellow glitter for yellow lip balm and we're going to be using this lemon um, flavor in oil we're going to be needing a spoon as well to stir everything in and these little little mini containers i purchased them, them off from ebay that's where you can purchase them off or um you can get it from amazon or sd and now we're just going to pour in a spoon of vaseline into the bowl and i was having a i was having trouble to get the lip balm base to come out because i had used it before and it's just the rest wasn't coming out and now you just want to add a few drops of the flavoring oil you're going to be using and whatever oil co coconut oil almond oil grapeseed oil you just want to add a few drops of it not too much and then add your pigments and i'm obviously going to be using this glitter and when it's glitter you want to add as much as you want because it's just glitter if it's pigment you want to add just a little bit because a little goes a long way and then you just stir it and you want to stir it very well especially when it's like vaseline or lip balm base because it's not going to stir as well as lip lip gloss so it's totally different textures different so you have to stir very well So I wanted my lip balm to be really, really yellow. So I kept adding glitter, but I noticed that it wasn't getting yellow. But the end of the results, it did kind of look yellow. So I was happy with the results. But you do not want, you do not have to melt the Vaseline. It will melt by itself when you are stirring it. Um, I used to melt it with hot water, but it was taking forever and it will go back to its texture back again so i decided to just mix it in like that and it just melts by itself as you can see the consistency is so much more like liquid So now we're going to put in the lip balm base into the syringe and you cannot suck this in because obviously the texture is not liquidy like lip gloss so this is very hard to suck it in so you want to put it in with your spoon and the way to do this is by pressing down and keep on adding product until you fill it all the way up. So you want to keep on following what I am doing in order to fill up all the syringe in and you just basically want to add the product and then wipe or press down and this is the way that I do it. So 
So the way to fill up these mini containers is you want to go in circular motion. The reason why is because if you don't, then you will have a bunch of bubbles in between, like inside the container. So you want to go in circular motion, filling it up until you get to the top. And once you get to the top, it doesn't matter how you leave it because on the next step that I'm going to be showing you is I'm going to be showing you guys how to leave the lip balm flat as if you bought it all from the store. So follow as what I am doing so you can do this the correct way. So I'm not perfect. So if I'm doing something wrong, please let me know in the comments, but please don't leave rude comments. So this is how you want to flatten down the lip balm base by using a spoon or whatever it is that you're using a spatula. But you want to flatten it down by basically wiping off the lip balm base and leaving it flat surface. But the way to do this is you have to keep on adding lip, lip gloss back again once you wipe until you see that it is completely straight. The reason why you do this is because when you sell your product like this, it looks more professional and it looks like, you know, you just bought it off the store. So when you get a lip balm right there, you always see it flat and it's like it's so satisfying that you don't even want to ruin it. But once you touch it, it's like it gets like a circle way. So this is basically what I'm talking about. So now you want to get is Clorox wipes, Lysol wipes, or baby wipes, whatever that it is that you have. Or you can use a wet paper towel and just clean the residue of the container because obviously it will be greasy from the Vaseline or whatever it is that you use. Even if it's lip gloss as well, you have to clean it just because of the residue and greasiness.
So now when you are done, you want to put them in the refrigerator and you just want to let them sit there until they harden. You can keep them there about 10, 15 minutes or you can leave them there. Once your customer placed their order, it will be hard and they will be satisfied with what they got. So this is the result of my lip balm is pretty much you know glittery and i like it i, I see a bunch of people posting rich video. kid check Please like i think that's pretty lame i want to see people start a business and so I'll we can start the new trend as business check or hustle check let's do it